how this thing sounds on the webcam this is the chipson everybody wants to know about the chipson I'm doing this because people people seem to respond to the chipson videos I do I don't know I hope hopefully that this logo shows up the right way because I'm using my webcam because I'm being a lazy person today all right somebody asked me a couple people asked me hey well, why don't you make more chipson videos I'm like, yeah, I guess I could, but it's just, I feel like I've already kind of covered everything with this guitar. I will mention uh, the one thing that makes me remember that this is actually a Chipson as opposed to a real Gibson is uh, sometimes this bridge rattles. And what I did was I just kind of t tightened it up, one of the screws up, and it didn't seem to rattle anymore. But I had it all the way up, but I kind of like tightened it one of these uh, flathead screws that are down under here and I got rid of some of the bridge rattle but I kind of messed up when I put new strings on it I had the original strings on it for like three months because I'm like I hate to waste stuff I'm just that type of person that does not like to waste anything so I was like oh, the strings that are on it are, are decent strings I mean they're good enough but I messed up because I put nines on it because I'm used to playing strats. And uh, I feel like uh, it's a little bit more prone to buzzing now with the nines on it. Which is typical of any, like Gibsons, you're supposed to put tens. I put nines. practicing some new arpeggios so just bear with me I'm trying to get stuff stuff sounding good I have a real high standard of quality in my brain for how I want stuff to sound this is the good old chips in nice top you've already seen videos of it um, other than the bridge rattling sometimes um, that's pretty much it so I'm gonna play this <laughs> Some people might be like, why don't you play a song? And you know what? I finally found a perfect excuse not to play a song and just to warm up and stuff. It's because, uh... They're going to start getting really strict with copyrights on YouTube. So that's the perfect excuse for me not to have to learn some stupid song. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry. I do not want to play Sweet Child of Mine or any stupid song. I hate Sweet Child of Mine. I hate that song. I'm so sick of hearing it on the radio. They've been playing it on the radio for the last, like, 40 years or probably, like, 35 years since it came out. I just I get there's so many songs on the radio I just get so sick of and I don't want to learn any covers I'm so lazy I'm so incredibly lazy I just cannot learn a single damn song to learn you to save my life I'm trying not to cuss so if I come off like I'm sounding awkward it's probably because I'm suppressing cussing that would normally happen so you heard this chips in. I'm, I think I'm going to go grab a real Gibson. All I have on Gibsons right now are, well, I'm going to grab the closest thing to this, which is an SG, just so you can hear. I'm going to pause this. All right, people, so like I said, I came back. 
This is a real Gibson. Don't get confused. This is a real Gibson, okay? This is a 1979 Gibson SG exclusive. It has uh, T-top humbuckers in them. I don't think that they came wax potted because if I put a lot of gain on this, 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 these pickups, these hollow. I love this guitar. I got such a good deal on this. And I'm just going to play it so you can hear it next to the Gibson, okay? I'm going to play a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so you've heard it a little bit. Yeah, I realize this is not the best recording setup. Like I said, the title of this video is going to be The Lazy Guitar Player That's Tired of Talking About Chipsons, but I'm going to try to appease everybody. I'm in a weird mood today. I got dismissed from early from work today, and I only got like four hours of sleep last night because I woke up at 1 o'clock in the morning and I edited a video. I edited a video, and... I got like nine views on it, so like I'm just like ecstatic. But no, I I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I'm I'm completely grateful for everybody that watches. I'm really happy. But I thought I'd do something different and do something that's more like a live stream thing. But I I don't have the confidence to live stream anything. So you heard this next to the Gibson or the Chipson. All right, this is the Gibson. The other one's the Chipson. I don't want anybody to get confused. Of course, they're two di di completely different styles of guitar. This is an SG, that's a Les Paul. Now, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that there's a whole lot of difference between the sound of this and that over the webcam? I don't know. I haven't listened to it over the webcam, but I can tell you in the room that these are a little bit warmer sounding. This, this guitar is a little bit warmer sounding. The other one's a little bit brighter, but what I think is that there are just so many things that go into how a guitar sounds. Like, for instance, this guitar has really hot pickups, okay? And they are they sound really good through a tube amp, but on this guitar, I like to play with my hands, and sometimes it goes like this, and it creates a big eh, 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 but it's not doing that right now because I lowered the pickup so much, okay? So it's almost unfair to compare two guitars when one pickup is lower than the other. So it's just like there, there's so many things that involve preference and player preference that goes into how a guitar sounds. So the last real Gibson Les Paul I played had really old strings on it. And uh, mine had just had the strings changed. I had just changed the strings. And uh, it sounded better because it had better strings. So there are just so many little things that go into to what makes a guitar sound good and all that stuff. It's player preference. Okay, so now that you got to hear, I'm going to talk, talk to you a little bit more about this just because I got it out. I rarely take this out of the case because I, I love this guitar, but it's one of those guitars that I just don't want to screw up. It's a really rare guitar. I think only about 450 of them were made. Gibson SG exclusive. It used to have some type of uh, coil splitting thing on there or something they did in the late 70s. This bridge, I think, I think that this is original, but I don't think this one is. I can't remember. I can't remember. But anyways, I got a really heck of a good deal on it because it has headstock repair. Okay? Like... I've seen them on the internet for like two grand or something, and I don't want to devalue these guitars by telling you how much I paid for it, but I actually bought it from a reputable place, 
the story behind this is that my girlfriend was in the band. She was on tour. And I had the whole weekend to myself. And I was like, oh, man, she's on tour. Oh, man. And then I was on the Guitar Center website. And they had this. I'm just going to say how much I paid for it. You know how much I paid for this with the headstock repair? I only paid $5.99 for it. Okay? And in the description, it said that it had been refinished and that it had pickups changed and stuff. But I didn't care. But when I got it, there's no way that this has been refinished. They probably, they had it labeled as a, as a Gibson uh, uh, SG standard, which they didn't make them in black, I guess, for that year. But they had it labeled as a standard. But... What they didn't know was that this was a, an SG exclusive. So this is the original paint. This is the original guard. These are the original pickups. The only thing that's wrong with it is somebody put this on here and it has, they probably ruined, they, they cracked the headstock, okay? And it's been repaired. So I got this for 600 bucks and I could not be any happier with it. I love it, it's my baby, okay? But when I got baby guitars, I put them in the case, and I am too afraid to play them. That's exactly why I got that Gibson. Even though sometimes I'm afraid to play that one because I don't want to scratch it with like the zipper on my hoodie and stuff. Really, the, the guitar I play the most right now is my Squire Affinity because I don't care if anything happens to it. I just leave it on the couch, which I know it's kind of sad, but that's the way it goes. But uh, anyways, I hope that you found this video somewhat informational. This is just more of a informal type of video but anyways thanks for watching i appreciate it i really do thank you thank you very much